The Greco-Persian Wars were a series of conflicts fought between the Achaemenid Empire of Persia and the city-states of Greece between the years 500 and 400 BCE. These wars were a turning point in history, shaping the future of the Western world and shaping the development of Western culture. The cause of the war was a dispute over control of the Ionian cities on the coast of Asia Minor. The Ionians, who were Greek settlers, had been under the control of the Persian Empire for over a century, but they resented Persian rule and longed for independence. In 499 BCE, the Ionians revolted against Persian rule and sent a message to the city-states of Greece, asking for help. The Athenians, in particular, were eager to aid their fellow Greeks and sent a small force to help the Ionians. The Persians, led by King Darius I, were taken aback by the Athenians' support for the Ionians, and Darius swore to punish the Athenians for their interference. He began to plan for an invasion of Greece, and in 490 BCE, he launched a massive invasion force across the Aegean Sea. The Persians landed at Marathon, a small village about 25 miles from Athens, and prepared to march on the city. The Athenians, led by the general Miltiades, were able to gather a small army of hoplites, or heavy infantry, to meet the Persians at Marathon. The battle was fought on the plain of Marathon, and the Greeks were able to use their superior tactics and training to defeat the Persian invaders. The Persians were forced to retreat back to Asia Minor, and the Athenians were hailed as heroes. Despite the victory at Marathon, the Persians were not done with Greece. Darius died in 486 BCE, and was succeeded by his son Xerxes. Xerxes was determined to avenge his father's defeat, and he began planning a new invasion of Greece. In 480 BCE, Xerxes launched a massive invasion force across the Hellespont, with the goal of conquering Greece once and for all. The Greeks, led by the Spartan king Leonidas, were able to gather a small force of hoplites to meet the Persians at the Pass of Thermopylae. The Greeks were able to hold the pass for three days, but were eventually outflanked and defeated by the Persian army. The Greeks were forced to retreat, and the Persians were able to march on Athens and burn the city. Despite the defeat at Thermopylae, the Greeks were not done fighting. A fleet of Greek ships, led by the Athenian general Themistocles, was able to defeat the Persian navy at the Battle of Artemisium. The Persians were forced to retreat, and the Greeks were able to prepare for the final battle of the war at the narrow Straits of Salamis. The Battle of Salamis was fought in 480 BCE, and it was a crushing defeat for the Persians. The Greek ships, using a new tactic known as the Diekplus, were able to outflank the Persian ships and sink them one by one. The Persians were forced to retreat, and the Greeks were able to claim victory. The Persian invasion of Greece was over, and the Greeks had emerged victorious. The wars had a profound impact on the Western world, as they marked the first time that the East and West had come into direct conflict. The Greeks had shown that they were a powerful civilization, capable of standing up to the might of the Persian Empire. The wars also had a major impact on the development of Western culture. The Greeks, who had been living in small city,